Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Transit, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre 300 Eco Blue Limited. It's automatic, it's L1 H1, Euro 6 engine, 6 seats, 2019 on 19 plate, has done 26,584 miles at the moment. Fuel economy, urban 36.2 miles per gallon, extra urban 42.2 miles per gallon, and combined is 39.2 miles per gallon. Has a top speed of 99 miles per hour, out of a four cylinder, 16 valve, 129 brake horsepower engine. So it's a crew bus, so instead of it being a full van at the back, there's another three seats in this midsection, and then, a bit of a van section at the back. Really, really handy vehicle. It has power folding door mirrors, the sliding door at the side, the plastic protectors, mud flaps, multi-spoke alloy wheels. It's got continentals all around, so well shod. Lovely to drive too. Got the front parking sensors. Now, it, it's a really nice design van, this. They do a, a, a big, Ford grille, which I really like the look of. So that's the first thing I'd change, but, but that's me. Um, so front parking sensors. This is the side loading door. This little panel flips out, so you get a bit of ventilation in the back. Nice, easy access, absolutely mint inside. Also, your fuel flap is here. So if you open the door, you can then open the fuel flap like so. When the door's shut, nobody can get in. So the doors open like so to 90 degrees. If you take this yellow strap off there, it will then open to 180 degrees. So you can, well, I'm not sure you'd be loading this with a forklift, but anyway, it, you've got the option. It's wood line. There's a, easy clean floor there we've got the tow bar now the, the tow bar you have got a reversing camera you've got reversing sensors too the tow bar seems to set the reversing sensors off so if you if you didn't need the tow bar then i would suggest just taking the ball off but you've still got the reversing camera too so so that's ideal loads of room for a couple of bikes all your hobby stuff all your luggage you know if you're going to use it as a taxi or something just imagine how much luggage you could get in here. When I, when I went on holiday, I've got a big Oakley suitcase and the chap that picked me up in the Mercedes E-Class, he, he struggled to kind of arrange it. Whereas here, you'd, you'd get about 20 or 30 of, of, of my cases in. So really, really handy vehicle. Now, every time I try and get in this, it's so windy up here today that it blows me mats out. So I'm gonna have to approach this a different way. If I got the carpets dirty in this, Lance would kill me. He just cleaned it. And, it, and it's absolutely mint. Don't look like it's been sat in. There's no uh, no scuffs anywhere. Lovely, lovely vehicle. Plenty of room as well. Uh, I do really like these. It'd be ideal for a daily user for me. It uh, it certainly would. And then you've got this. Let's just see. So you clip that together at the back, and then that opens up like so. I'm not sure whether you could see that to be fair but and then just locks again <sighs> rear isofix child seat anchor points three inertia belts and as i say three seats that are all the same size normally if, if you get a normal saloon car the person who sits in the middle is, is like <laughs> sat like so and on a bit that's not really meant for a person to sit so th this is this is ideal uh, long distances absolutely great nice hard wearing cloth too nice kind of laser um 
stripe design on the on the the center panels nice vehicle I'll just take you for riding it <laughs> the weather up here is incredible um, okay so that's the the Ford key we've got two of those two remotes proper ignition key the um, this model has the reinforced door locks as well just turn it on get a bit of heat on today uh, okay service history 24th of the 3rd 2020 at 10,270 miles DKM motors 3rd of the 4th 2022 at 24,403 miles DKM motors and it's done 26,584 at the moment so uh, just serviced a couple of thousand miles ago doesn't need anything front center armrest here just crank that up we've all, we've also got a couple of other things like like so uh, for your clipboard two more cup holders this cup holders galore here and then Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. But the best thing is, hopefully this won't knock my camera off because that camera is being worked by this uh, telephone at the moment. So if I plug that in there, if you just watch that, it should automatically connect. There you go to uh, Apple CarPlay and then you can control your tunes and such from the steering wheel. You've got it mirrors your phone you can send texts uh, by uh, voice by s-i-r-i uh, an answer or or hear the answer read um audio books it's, it's just got everything everything that you need on your, your your phone there and to go back you just click on the ford now that's what i was saying about before that's your reversing camera now when i start going back it, it, it sometimes picks the tow bar up. But you can see. And it's a, it's a great picture of the tow bar there. The, uh, before, when I, was taking, uh, when I was taking the outside photographs on, I had a hoodie and a jacket on. Then I came to do the, the video of the outside and I just had my jacket on. Then, then the, the sky cleared and it was sunny and it was too hot. So I had to start again and take my jacket off because I was sweltering. And then just as I was finishing doing the outside, it started raining. And look at it now, you can't, you can't see anywhere. But the, uh, the weather up here is... Uh, changeable to say the least so automatic you can use it it's got a little button on the side here and you can you can change gears using the little button on the side so cruise control on here switch the cruise control on like so click set that's it set I'm gonna put the lights on That's almost hail. In fact, it is hailstone, I think. Seems to be. Gee whiz, that's driving me mad. Hopefully you can't hear that on the microphones, but I, I suspect you will be able to because it, it's only that distance. Got power folding door mirrors, like so. In the door mirrors, in the door mirrors, you'll see there's a little kind of quadrant at the bottom, so you don't scuff your alloys or back over something. Or you can see when cyclists come. This morning, I was at uh, at the traffic lights and a, a, a cyclist came right up the side of course and they go in front of you but uh, you can see them coming so you don't pull out or take a left and, uh, and 
that is really driving me mad. I'm gonna to have to stop. As soon as there's a clear bit. Cup holders everywhere. There, down here, along with the cup holders down there. You've got a USB and a power socket. Lovely to drive. You have got a great view of the road as well. Just need to uh, find somewhere where I can actually pull up. Not very good here. That's, wow, that's a good horn. Hopefully that stopped it. That was, that was, no it's not. Right, I'm gonna pull up here. I mustn't have tightened it up enough, I don't think. Because that's, that's the worst I've ever heard it. There you go. Right, a bit of luck, that will have cured it. So that's stop start, the stop start's come off. That's the button that you knock it off with. We've also got heated front screen in this vehicle, which is an absolute godsend. Condensation and also when it's icy in the morning, get rid of all that. I do like the way these drive. It's absolutely ideal for a family, especially a, a, not that you see many these days, but I was going to say an active family where the, the parents get the kids out doing activities and cycling and walking rather than being sat in front of the TV playing whatever latest game there is. Great day, Van. All your gear in the back. The uh, you'll have heard me talk about Northwest Auto Care before. Uh, John's got a, a couple of kids, and he, he likes to you know, get out and about at weekends. He's got one, he's got a Range Rover and he's got one of these that he uses. Very nippy. going to pull over here it's still making a noise I see why it's making a noise now it's uh, it's not fastened on there at all Just rattling up and down. 
Um, hopefully. Anyway, it's not the fault of the car, so don't worry. Oh, well done, Buzz. That's that's made it worse. So here we go. So you, you can control this using uh, Siri and uh, just tell it where you want to go so there's no having to stop to program it. You can just tell it. Um, you can also say send, send text messages rather than take your hands off the steering wheel. Answer the phone, make calls. It's just, it's a great system. And uh, wow, overheated <laughs> already. Well done, DJI. That's a brilliant camera. Absolutely useless. <laughs> Another 300 and odd quid wasted. I bought um, the new Insta360 camera just before I went on holiday. Unfortunately, that's got, and I, I'll take this opportunity to, to apologise for the last video as well. I did have, I had it mounted here. But unfortunately, it's got built-in stabilisation and you can't switch it off. So when you're in a car and you, you're, the car is rocking like so and up and down, turning, it tries to hold the picture steady. So while the car's moving, it's holding the horizons steady. But when you play it back, it just makes you feel seasick. So uh, that was another... I don't know, three, four hundred quid or something like that was just an action camera that's not really fit for purpose. And you can't switch the horizon levelling off. You used to be able to, but the update has stopped it. So, anyway, there you go. So, let's see what we've got. Front and rear parking sensors. We've got the side protective mouldings. It's a good looking van, drives superb, the, the seating position is excellent. We've got a front central armrest here, which is actually very comfortable as well. It's, it, that's better than the ones in the Range Rover. The, the ones in the Range Rover are just a bit too narrow. And uh, like, if you've got bony elbows, it's not so good, but that's perfect. So great driving position. On the dash there, down there, I'll just put that down as I'm going. There you go. You can just change by clicking this. Your information display. the display there again you can go through all the maintenance click maintenance what's that saying add blue range oil life click back advanced settings click on alarm system chimes vehicle click vehicle headlamp display locks wipers so there you go, that, that's all control from here. Just there is your heated front windscreen. Climate control, air conditioning, your radio controls. And it, 
Apple CarPlay. Super, it's absolutely superb. It does everything over and above what your ordinary car radio does. More and more functions are coming to it as well. And I believe the update for next year um, will will just change the whole way a car display uh, will be working. I would imagine that sooner or later all your instruments will be controlled just by your phone. Your phone will have everything in, accelerometer and so on. And the vehicle will just pick up from your phone. And with a bit of luck, you won't need all this technology that you've got in cars. And that will either keep the cars at the same cost or reduce them. But uh, everybody's got a phone. And when you think about it, you know, I mean, I, I've got I've got a really good music system at home, which I bought years ago. Do I use it? No. I can play the same music from my phone through my TV. And I can't remember the last time I, I used my, uh, uh, well, <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of a stack system, but not exactly. So what's the point in having all that technology? and duplicating it in your house, your car, or two cars if you've got them. No doubt the kids' bedroom as well. And perhaps, uh, perhaps Apple can solve global warming. This is the driving position I like, where you can see above everything. And it's, it's one of the very few vans that have barn doors. Because it's easy to shut the wrong door first, and then when you go to shut the, the other one, it bangs into the, uh, <laughs> to the door and puts a ding in it. This touch wood hasn't got it so far. Handy just meeting right in the bend there. Right on the blind bend. Busy this morning. I'm going to pull over here because he doesn't look like he wants to stop. The chap that this has come off, um, he makes <laughs> replica Cobras. Um, and the reason he's swapped this in is because when his trailer is loaded up, it's actually too heavy for the, the vehicle, for the gross vehicle weight. So he's bought a Range Rover off us. But uh, I enjoy looking at his website. Uh, that's actually his, his job <laughs> making reproduction cars just need to flip away from there there's a bit of a brick at the side of the road
Ford makes such good vehicles. I was watching uh, the professionals the other night and there was a, a Mark One Transit. Um, when you think about the amount of... Got about a foot there. Let's, let's see if I do any better here. All oh, right. No, no wonder that guy was waiting for me to stop. I bet he thought, idiot. And he would be right. Just show you down there in the valley. The grid here that Enjoy your fillings out. Well, I think today calls for a bacon and egg balm cake at uh, Chipping Farm Shop. <laughs> it's miserable. Thank goodness I got the outside video before this, uh, before the heavens opened. So as you would expect, low mileage, lovely vehicle. And uh, I don't think you can, I, th I think they're still struggling to deliver transits at the moment. So a good use one's the next best thing, I suppose. And that's it, lovely vehicle. We have taken this in part exchange, so we haven't gone out to buy it, but that's no reflection on the vehicle because if this was for sale anywhere, if we saw this up for sale, we'd go and buy it. So, uh, lovely vehicle. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.